Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel and you are in the series of Fundamental of Cyber Security and in the previous session we had seen port and the importance of port, okay. In this session we will understand, you know, specifically we will understand port but uh, relation with a security or, or a cyber security. So, uh, I'm going to take a, a new whiteboard here and, uh, you know, in the previous session as I, I told you that uh, there is a port and uh, so when I say port, I can say it's a way uh, it's a way to help system it's a way to help system uh, to identify uh, establish so sorry for this uh, and transmit data from one end to another so transmit data from one end to another Now, you know, there are many ports which you already know, such as if I say there is HTTP, uh, then HTTP has a port number 80, uh, then if you go for HTTPS, a secure version of HTTP, then there is a 443, if you go for FTP, then there is a port of 21, if you are having SMTP, which is for mail purpose, mail extension, then there you are having 25 and so on, okay, there are many actually port number, DNS having 53 and all, so you can, you know, go for there is a list of all port numbers in the internet you can search for that uh, so it's a simple thing you can do it okay so this is you know the port numbers and the uh, the important port numbers you need to remember it okay one um, another note here is uh, what this is uh, maybe I can uh, so, okay no problem so let me take a note here note says uh, once a port is running application is running oh, sorry is running on one number you cannot use sorry this is actually can't you can't use the same number same port number basically same port number for other service to run for other service to run now you will ask the question sir why there is a http 80 which is meant for browsing purpose right 443 meant for browsing purpose but whenever i type here whenever i do you know search google.com or any ip if i provide i never put port numbers how this browsing you know understand that there is uh, there is I want to go for HTTP or HTTPS well it is you know implicitly if you see the URL implicitly it is the port number is there in the URL itself but it is abstracted from the user okay implicitly there it is there in the URL itself so you do not have to write the Google IP address here and uh, you do not have to write the Google IP address and then port numbers this is not uh, very necessary so even if you do like this if I go for here and if I search the uh, the Google IP address, I'm so sorry, I think I need to go for I think dash 4 to give me the IP address. So this is the IP address 172.217. Um, um, so let me write here uh, 172. I'm so sorry, 217. Uh, 217.166.174 very bad at number so I, I do not have to write here port numbers okay when I hit enter automatically automatically google.com will gonna open okay so if even if I write here 443 which is hard-coded explicit port number I'm putting over here even if I write here it will open the you know google.com no problem so, oh yeah so it is not uh, working because I think uh, I'm doing it in a very wrong manner I should not provide here but uh, if I have a local application so that local application will not work in that manner okay you have to provide the port number and then and then, then and then only it will work so implicitly uh, the port number is there in the url itself but we never write it okay we never write it so you see i had written here but it is not it is not working 172 dot uh, i think it's a uh, 217 dot 166 dot uh, 74 and if i put here 80 so 
So, yeah, it is okay. Now, it is okay. Sometimes it is working and sometimes it is. So, if I am putting 443, it is not working. Why it is not working, I do not know. It should be an HTTP is there, but you see. So, it is not working. But if I go for HTTP, it is working. Uh, so, you see, it is a hard coded I am putting. It is it's explicitly I am putting over here. But browser always do this implicitly. Okay. So, it will open the google.com. So, this is the thing that uh, uh, the port is giving you. Uh, so this is all about port now why it is important okay why it is important in the cyber security why do we need to understand it so let's understand this thing so you see here uh, let me take a new thing so see i already told you about something called as vulnerability so in a simple thing vulnerability is a computer having a loophole or a weakness all right so there is a weakness there is this hole is basically a weakness Now, this port number, as I told you, now, what port number is exact, exactly is, it's a service, okay, it opens a service in a computer. So, a port number, port number here, opens a service in a computer, okay. So, whenever a packet comes up to a computer, this computer is gonna open a hole here inside this this packet goes and you know the all service that this packet is uh, intending for is going to be run on this computer all right so it is opening it is opening a port here inside this computer all right so this port is very important for an attacker perspective if he can find a port number which is open okay a port number which is open inside this computer. So, uh, if a port number is open to this computer, then an attacker comes here and will use this loophole or this, uh, you know, open port to enter into the system. He will, he will use this open port. Okay, he will use this open port to enter into the system and, uh, you know, enter into the system and can gain access. So, this is the open port and we cannot close some port, right? We cannot do that. Like, suppose if I have a 80, for HTTP, it is going to be open every time. I cannot close it, right? This is not possible somehow. Because if you close it, then I do not have internet service. Internet is going to be closed here. I cannot browse anything. So, in the same way, if I have a 21 FTP, all right? If I close this, then somehow I, I cannot do the file sharing. This is somehow not possible in this computer. So, there are some default port that I need to be open, okay? Apart from default open ports, there are certain other application uh, to which I need to open the ports, right? And these open ports are very important for an attacker. If he finds this open port, they are going to uh, enumerate that open port and will uh, enter into the system, okay? He will do the port escalation there. This is very important. If, you, if your computer is having some open port, then you have to see, you have to look after that. You have to see that these open ports are uh, you know, uh, opening the gates for the uh, attacks from the attackers, you have to see that, all right. So, in general, your computer having three types of things. One is something called as open port. You understand the, the meaning of open port, right. This is open port. There is another thing is close port. And then third port is known as filtered port. Three things are there, filtered. So, Three things are there open port closed port and filtered port you understand these three things what happens in open port so let's say this is an open port you send something here okay you send something some packet here some request is there this open port will give you a response back okay this this uh, open port is going to response back so this is an open port this happening that's why that's why attackers are very uh, you know very keen to know is there a open port in the target computer or not now let's say uh, now let's say let me take uh, another color here i need to take a oh, white is not coming okay okay so let's say now now let's say a closed port now what will happen in closed port so this is a closed port Okay, I'm gonna close it. So when you send a request to this port, okay, when you send a when you send a request or a, a packet to this port, 
this closed port will you know not give you anything it is not listening at all it will not give you anything it's a it will not reply you back so it's, it's a closed port okay there is a port number closed for you so let's say uh, 444 four, four. if you are sending uh, ip address here and this port number then it will say that uh, you know if the response is not coming from the port number then it, you can say that this is a closed port um, so mainly the port that are no longer have any service okay there is no service running on such port numbers are known as closed port now uh, apart from that in contrast to that we are having a filtered port let's say now what happens to a filtered port so if let's say this is a filtered that means half open half close so this is filtered port and i'll tell you why it is half open and half close filtered port so what happens in filtered port basically uh, you send something to these port numbers right so there is a, re a request packet here but you see you will get a reply you will definitely get a reply here maybe uh, but it is not for open it will not say that i am open it says i am a filtered port okay it is it will take it it will it will tell you that uh, uh, it basically this this is not reply don't worry, don't think about that this is a this is not a reply it will only say that i am a filtered port okay uh, what do you mean by filtered port it is something like if this computer has a protectiveness all right something like firewall if i have a firewall installed on this computer then a request comes to you know a, a packet comes to a request comes to, to this computer will directly going to be dropped okay it is going to be dropped this request is going to be dropped by the firewall and you will not get the reply back so that's why it is a filtered port so it is going to be uh, you know it is filtered by those uh, protectiveness uh, protective measures it is going to be filtered by your firewalls or uh, you know this ids and they're going to drop such packets so it is so port scanning is not allowed there on such a uh, computer where a, a, a firewall is being installed so this is uh, open port closed port and filtered port now sir attacker how attacker gonna know that there is an open port the the mechanism mechanism to find open port or closed port maybe closed would be a reliable word closed port is known as something called as port scanning you see the meaning of port scanning is you are scanning the ports okay you are you are you are using an application here so this is an application such as nmap you are using an application and this application going to scan a computer okay scan a computer and it will find is there any open port closed port or filtered port so this is the thing that uh, this is the thing that port scanner tools uh, is used Okay, they're gonna scan the whole computer for open ports, and then they're gonna tell you that these are the ports uh, which are open in the computer. So now you can escalate these port, and you can enter into the system of the target machine. All right. So this is all about you know the uh, perspective of cybersecurity with the port numbers. I hope you like it. If you like it, please uh, hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you have any doubt, you can chat. You can actually comment in the comment section. Uh, I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much.